Welcome to the Infogram DataViz Workshop Series, a collection of instructional pieces that show you how to turn your numbers into charts. I'll guide you through best practices with plenty of helpful tips along the way. One of the most realistic and powerful data visualizations you can make is using a map. Displaying geographical information across regions, countries, continents, and even the whole world can be highly effective. Since the Infogram tool is so easy to use and so versatile, and there's so many different ways that you can apply a map, I think we'll take a closer look so you can see what all the possibilities are. Sometimes a simple map is all you need. Open the world map, enter the countries, and add a fact in the text column if you'd like to share more information. If you prefer to show cities or landmarks, turn on markers. A point or icon of your choosing will be displayed where the places are located. Infogram's map tool comes automatically populated with all possible regions, so delete what you don't need. When you start typing, Infogram will automatically find what you're looking for. You can also visualize a group. The default here is just random. If you select group data at the top of your editor, instead of each country having a different color, the map will be displayed defining groups by color. Turn on legends so your readers can identify each group. This can be useful when showing different demographics in a particular region. Here's an example. These are the electoral results for the 2016 US presidential election broken down by state. If you'd like access to hundreds of regional maps, including individual states, provinces, cities, and more, simply upgrade to one of our paid plans. So far, we've seen simple maps. What if you want to add data to your regions? This is where heat map is useful. The value column is where you enter the numbers. Add a title to the value column and turn on legend. The darker the color, the higher the value. The lighter the shade, the smaller the value. If you want to change the colors, you can adjust them in the settings here at the top. Choose which color you'd like to represent the hot and which color you'd like to represent the cold. So far, the maps we've used have been data-driven and straightforward. Let's go over how to make a more realistic, zoomable map. Turn on Tile Layer. When publishing to the web, this will give your readers an interactive and engaging map experience. Just like most charts, if you add a second spreadsheet at the bottom, it'll make a new tab on your map where the viewers can switch between different datasets. With this, you can create a unique animation that zooms from the world view to specific regions, or show data from different time periods. Now that you know how to make an awesome interactive map, it's time to give it a try today. With Infogram's beautiful template styles and predefined color schemes, you only need to plug in your data and presto, publish it for web sharing and download. If you have any questions, reach out to our assistants and one of our data visualization experts will be happy to answer. Make sure to check out all the videos in our series.